Matthew Monas here, and today's Surface event was full of a lot of surprises. We thought everything was leaked, but towards the end of the event, they announced two insane foldable devices. I'm not gonna talk about it in this video because we didn't get to go hands-on, but I wanna focus on the main stuff that we're used to seeing. The Surface Pro 7, the Surface Laptop, and the newly announced Surface Pro X. Now, the Surface Laptop, which is now available in two different form factors, comes in 13 inches and it also comes in 15 inches. The 13 inch model of this device is gonna be very familiar. You're gonna have the Intel 10th gen processors, you're gonna have different configurations that you can choose from. They've increased the travel distance on the keyboard to 1.9 millimeters with about 19 millimeters of pitch. So you should have a very comfortable typing experience. Based on my first impressions, I actually think they did a good job of improving the keyboard. There's a lot more force to the click than there was previously. Now on the 15 inch version, you have like a standard touchpad size, but they increased the size of the Surface Laptop 3's touchpad to make it 20% bigger. So if you've used the Surface, 3, the Surface 2 laptop and you thought the trackpad was a little bit too small, you're gonna have a lot more space to work with. Now the beauty is you have a laptop that is ridiculously light. The 15 inch model is exactly half a pound lighter than a MacBook Pro. This year you do get USB Type-C, which is something that's always been missing from their devices. You have your USB A port, your audio jack, and of course on the other side, you still get that Surface connector port. Now everything else is familiar. You still have the three by two aspect ratio, the pixel sense display, it's touchscreen. It works with the Surface Pen, which also got some pretty crazy updates. Now the big change though, between the 13 and the 15 inch model is the processor. The 15 inch version is using the new AMD Ryzen chip. This is the seventh generation with Vega 11 graphics. This has been co-produced with Microsoft. They're calling it their Surface CPU which basically means it's gonna have a lot more power than the Surface 13. So if you wanna be able to run like light gaming, maybe you wanna edit a video, the 15 inch model is the one you're gonna to wanna to gravitate towards because it's gonna have that GPU power to be able to, to allow you to do that. Now, if you prefer the two-in-ones, the Pro 7, which is their latest two-in-one hybrid device, has been updated. In terms of looks, it's exactly the same. Like, you're not seeing any differences from the form factor. You still have the chunkier bezels, you have the type cover that connects easily. They didn't update the type cover. It's the same as the previous generation. All the updates to this device have been done internally. You're getting the 10th gen processors, you're getting a faster CPU, you're obviously getting updates to the pen. They actually showed us some pretty cool features with the pen this year. Not only is the sensitivity a lot better, which means when you draw, you have different pressures to work with, you can also do cool things like convert text that you write into numbers. So let's say you're working in Excel and you wanna jot down a number, you'll be able to take your pen input and quickly convert it to a number and place it right in the cell. Besides that, it's a very familiar device. And I think you know the thing that we always wanted on the Surface Pro 7 has finally made it here. And that is USB Type-C. They finally stuck one on the left-hand side of the device. That just makes everybody happy. Now, unfortunately, I don't think it's Thunderbolt 3, so if you're expecting to hook up this up to an external GPU, that's definitely not going to happen. But at least you have USB Type-C, it's probably 10 gigabits per second, which means you can hook up a few monitors, you can connect a bunch of devices together and daisy chain them and still have the data throughput to move information to your device. So that wraps up my info on the Surface Laptop 13 and 15 inch version and of course the Surface Pro 7. I'm doing another video on the newly announced Surface Pro X so make sure you watch that as well. Now if you enjoyed this video feel free to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel subscribe and as always I will see you guys in the next video.